welcome to The One Show with Chris Evans. And Alex Jones. Now Though in real life, some people are more than prepared for the worst. Flash floods, mass riots, extreme weather. We've seen some pretty apocalyptic scenes lately. So if the end of the world did come, where would you want to be? Me? Well, I'd want to be here, on this street in Hertfordshire. To be with a man who claims to be ready for anything. Retired soldier Michael Sarneson is one of hundreds of so-called preppers. They prepare by stocking up on essentials in case natural disasters or civil unrest lead to society falling apart. And his stash of survival rations is in a secret store cupboard. What we need as human beings is protein and carbohydrate the size of the palm of your hand and we need it twice a day. Okay, so up here I can see we've got a selection of pies, corned beef, tinned ham. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot of fun, you know, but that's not what you're trying to do. The reason I've got 20 tins of vegetable soup is because it's the basis of a really good stew. You know, so a couple of tins of soup, you know, I'll go out and I'll uh, shoot a rabbit or a pheasant, I'll bring it home, I'll process the meat, I'll put it in there, I'll make some dumplings. Is all of this preparation you've done, is it, is it for you and your immediate family? Or is it for anybody else? There may come a time when the only thing I can do, really, is batten down the hatches and look after me and mine. But given a choice, I wouldn't look the other way. Uncertain his house would be safe enough if society fell apart. Michael's also got a trailer stocked up with enough food for three months, ready to move his family to a secret hideaway in Wales at a moment's notice. In here is food, water and somewhere to sleep. Why would you not want to be in your home? The looting and rioting. If that was my local high street, if that was my local town, I'd want to be as far away from it as possible. At the moment, there's an angry mob coming at us in that direction. There's a hurricane coming at us from there. It's flooding all behind us. Uh, I'm not a celebrity. You need to get me out of here. OK? Michael claims he can get the trailer ready and the family to safety in minutes. The challenge is on. Sure enough, the trailer's packed in no time, and we're off. Pretty soon, we're hidden deep in local woods. He starts by erecting a shelter. I'm put on fire-making duty. Me, Mears, Grills, Vogel. The only real men left on television. Now we're out here. I want to find out why he first became a prepper. I think it probably started with Hurricane Katrina and seeing how the government failed those people. You know, 1,800 people were waiting for someone to come and rescue them, and nobody came. It's time for us to get on with the cooking. We're having sausage and mash and something to drink. Is it true that you've got a thing that you can pee in and then it comes out as drinking water? I, I can purify water for me and my family, no problems at all. If, it, for, if I can find a water source, the chances are I can purify it. The tent's up, the food's ready, it's time to eat. Thanks, mash and onion gravy. You're doing this all from a stable suburban environment. Yep. And that's where maybe people will look at it and think it's a bit weird. Yeah, it's a nonsense. I live in one of the safest places in the world. But from time to time, we have natural disasters or accidents, catastrophes. We have bombs going off in public transport. We have floods. We have storms. We have power outs. They all happen in the UK. If you expect the state to reach out and support you and save you, you're, you're delusional. People need to be more self-reliant. Michael thinks that whatever happens, he and his family are going to be okay. We need each other. You know, we need the love in our hearts and the strength in our arms and we'll be fine. I must admit that before I came here today, I thought prepping was all a bit odd. But whatever you make of it, you can't help but admire Michael's determination to be reliant on no one but himself. At the beginning of the day, like Matt said, he was really cynical. I think he was here to stick the boot into preppers and I didn't think it was going to be a very positive piece. Prepping for me is about, um, is about natural disasters, about man-made catastrophes, but more importantly, I think it's about our regular working class people just get by, you know. 
Shopping food went up last year by 15%. The year before that, it went up by 8%. So unless you've had a 23% pay rise, there just might be something in this prepping lock. Okay, so prepping in the UK is on the up. My um, little YouTube channel is just short of a million views and no one's more surprised than me. Uh, thank you to everybody that subscribed and that watches my films for me. We've managed to put prepping on the map. The BBC wouldn't have made that program, wouldn't have aired it at seven o'clock on a Friday evening to over five million viewers if it wasn't of interest. So uh, I think that's a good thing. A lot more people are starting to become self-reliant and um, that's all good, nothing bad, you know. I know firsthand that bad things happen to good people. So um, if we can put a little bit aside today because tomorrow just might be a bit tougher uh, i think that's a good thing but uh, a big thank you to all of my subscribers everybody that's taken interest in watching my uh, little films i really appreciate it and um, let's hope the profile continues to climb i'm going to be off to the wilderness uh, bushcraft wilderness gathering on 15th to the 18th of august so if you're going and you see my little setup, come over, have a cup of tea. As always, YouTube, any comments? Love to hear them. Back soon.